Hello, this is Jeremy 16 and welcome to an update on my port diorama. First of all, I will apologise if any dogs bark or any other noises and the camera being a bit shaky um, because I haven't got the tripod down the shed and it's easier to show you if I move the camera around because the model is very small. Um, so I did a video on my port diorama when, um, a couple of weeks, months ago now. And I thought I'd give you an update on everything that's happening. So a lot of this is scratch built. Um, but a lot of it is try and minic as well. Um, there's a few new ships. Which I'll show you in a second. Um, I thought I'd start with a military base. Just because... Let me just refocus. This is kind of going to be the second impressive part of the... Uh, diorama because of all the buildings and the battleships and um, like here we got these three destroyers and there's going to be three more lined up behind them and then we'll have all the buildings on this section here and everything then over here we got sub bay which is going there as well I think I mentioned in the last video and the aircraft carrier will be going here and I can move the ships around obviously it's not permanent um, but we'll move on straight from the military base because there's not really much changed here and have a look at the thing well the part of the model that's gonna draw attention and that's the um, suspension bridge which you can see here now it's not finished obviously this will be a fully detailed bridge in 1 and 12 thousandth scale um, and by the way, the sub looks fantastic there in the uh, water. Um, so the suspension bridge is scratch built out of wood and plastic card. Um, and if I put the camera down, you can see there's a bow in the middle. Well, that's more to the left, but that's because the clamp on here, uh, once they're glued at both ends properly, the bow will be bang in the middle, which means it will look realistic. Um, suspension cables will be made from piano wire and I want this to be a modern suspension bridge now it does look a bit big to the ships however this is a um, this ain't your average suspension bridge this there's one in Hong Kong uh, which is pretty big like this and it's got set it's something like eight lanes of roads on it now that's what I want to go for something big and industrial like this so that's the plan um, it'll be painted white red is just a primer color for now um, but obviously the cables will be linked up to here and it will look really good when it's done this is something I'm spending a lot of time on in fact I've probably spent a good 15 to 16 hours on it over the last couple of days just working it out drawing plans and everything and getting it right um, we'll have a look at the this side of the bridge because this is the smaller part of the boat and shipping yard um, so smaller ships this is the latest ship here which is just a standard merchant ship as you can see and next to it you got a minesweeper and then we got our cranes down here two cranes maybe three yeah um, and then a couple more cranes this side. This is a shared dock um, to military. There'll be all sorts across there. Um, and there's a few containers. We'll have a look at containers in a second. More of them, but you get <clears throat> sorry if I move the ship, you'll get an idea. They, they look, tend to stick. I don't know why. So this is how I've done the port edges. Now, if I just, I don't know if camera's going to focus on. Yeah, there we go. So I've used a very small piece of timber to go across, as you can see there, and then plaster card to do the smooth surface surface to the actual dock itself, the key side or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this will be detailed up. This is just very early process of it. Um, now we all run the port. There'll be different edges to the side of the port sides like this um, but it looks nice 
obviously it's going to be painted and everything. That's that's one of the things I'm going to do in the next couple of days is paint the plaster card to see what colours to go for. And I'm still figuring out how to do the tracks that the crane runs on. But that's also something I can work on. So if we just come back, we got no new boats really here. This is my sub, that's Vanguard, and that's my big destroyer. That's probably my favourite ship I own. It's just a brilliant ship. I took a picture of this today actually that I'm going to edit. And I'll hopefully put that on the end of this video. So let's go back out and refocus. I will just tell you where we've done the pillars of these bridges. So there's going to be three bridges on the actual layout. Now this is the first bridge. And then we've got the second bridge and the third bridge. The first bridge is a large suspension bridge. That's how I've worked it out. That's, I've been drawing plans and everything. I might have to show you some of the plans eventually. Um, I did spend a lot of time designing this by drawing it out. And it looks very basic at the moment. But it, once it's done, it looks fantastic. The second bridge is coming across here. Now, I draw two lines and over here. Now, this is going to be not too high. But you wouldn't expect the large container ship over there to pass underneath it because it's going to be quite a low bridge. Um, it's for this this part of the port is for smaller ships. The larger ships stay out this area, and then obviously you've got the navy ships going in there. Um, I'll just take a drink, sorry. So yeah, this is going to be the second bridge. And like I said, the second bridge a lot smaller. However, the second bridge is a military-only bridge. So it's the bridge that takes you into the military base. Because the military base is meant to be an island. Um, so only accessible by this bridge or boat. Um, which is good, because it's realistic. You do get military bases like that. Um, and the road will go down underneath the suspension bridge, obviously. It will not go completely flat to this. It will stay raised. Um, and this is the refinery. All of this is heavy industrial buildings, chimneys, everything like that. Um, as you can see with the pillars of the bridge, we got some white plaster card. So what I've done with the bridge, I've used track fits and pins. What you would use for double O gauge track or O gauge track or even Pico engage truck and I put these into the the pins into this board cut the tops off them and then put these pillars on top of them completely secured it with glue three different kinds of glue and they are very sturdy now my biggest fear is leaning over the model and catching this and damaging them um, hopefully I won't do that and when it goes to shows I'll make sure it won't happen because there's gonna be a lot of detail on the front of you so I might even get some um, pier specs glass, clear specs, I'm not too sure what it's called. But go across the front uh, just to protect it. Uh, protect it, sorry, my, my voice is funny today again. Um, but yeah, more of this plaster card, obviously I'm going to add more detail to these pillars because I want to get rid of the wood, really. Um, I'm not going to cover it completely in plaster card, but you'll see in, in the next update, or hopefully when I've done more work to this. And um, so I've got to stop the camera here, yeah? and I'm going to move. Okay, um, I will put some pictures in between this break, so... I hope you enjoyed the pictures. I got some I took a few weeks ago and I thought I'd share them with you because a lot of you on are not on my Facebook probably and you haven't seen the pictures. Um the photos that I've taken of it. So this is the other side of the bridge. Now I I did say there's gonna be three bridges. So we got first bridge being a suspension, second bridge which is going there, which is the navy military bridge, and the third bridge is a lot smaller. Um, and it's going exactly, let me just focus in, it's going here. So the idea is, this is kind of a, end, a beginning of a canal, a river, that goes through the industrial area of the port. 
And this got to be full of barges, absolutely full. All different kind of barges in here. I got several coming. Um, and we're, this got to be the refinery. So we're going to have massive tanks, a big coal yard, a bulk carrier ship that can go here, and like a large ship, like an oil tanker or something. And that'll go there. So we're going to have like maybe one or two warehouses, but it's mainly got to be factory buildings. Um, and it's got to be loads of train tracks in here. Again, I'm not too sure I'm doing them in this scale, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So the third bridge will be coming across here. And the third bridge is a lifting bridge. Because this is very low to the water, and it will be low to the water, it's going to be a lifting bridge. And obviously, I, I, I'll try my best to make it a lifting bridge, but it's probably not going to be lifted. It's just going to be for show. I might even keep it in a lifted position just to show people, or I might not. But that's the idea with that. Um, and then this part here, very industrial again. This is the second time I filmed in here today, and I got a bee in here with me. So this will be another piece of board. This is what I'm hoping to work on this week. Get that sorted. Um, as we cross over to the river, you'll see one of my new boats again. So this is a fire and rescue boat. Now, these would be called out because, you know, ship fires or emergencies. Um, try a minute, of course. And over here, it also came with this one, which is a police one. Um, and like, I got loads of boats coming, so there'll be plenty more of content to show you. Um, and what I do every time I do a unboxing, I've got to do an unboxing of two items or three items because they're so small and there's not really much to talk about. Um, this video is going to go on quite long, so please bear with me. We will get to a big update in a second. So here will be kind of the entrance of the port. And this is where the pilot ships and emergency ships like the fire ship and the police boat and other emergency ones you can buy will go. And this would be a sandy area, so this is not going to be bored. This would be like um, a cliff edge and then. And there'd be a few buildings on the uh, mainly just normal buildings on the ed edge of a port. Nothing industrial, probably like houses or something. Um, and then we go over to the main part. So this one's the next one I will be working on. The next bit of port. And um, this is going to be cranes and... Well, cranes and trains, really. There's going to be a bit of train track on here and everything. And I'm going to have some barges down the side of here. Maybe um, another ship of some sort. Maybe a smaller merchant boat of some sort. Um, maybe have some tugs down this side as well. Because tugs obviously manoeuvre the larger ships about. Now, I'm just going to move this one because I've got to move the camera. So, this is the big update. So, this is what I've been working on today and yesterday. So this is my container ship. It's um, P&O. I bought this a couple of weeks ago now. I'm not sure if I showed you it in the last video. But it's probably my second favourite boat I've bought. I really do like it. The containers all fitted separately on top. Now the containers are die cast as well. And the containers in the yard behind, I'll show you them in a second. They are not die cast. Um, I will get another one of these container ships, but I don't f think I need two in on this layout at the same time because they are quite big and they take up a lot of room and I'm limited to space. There's got to be more of these boards. I'm going for four of these actual boards, but that's yours. You're talking yours when I do them. So let's have a look at the actual container yard. So this is the bit that I really want to put a lot of detail into. Now, when I talk about detail, I don't mean painting the container. I'm, I'm happy to keep the containers the colours they are for now. Um, but I will be adding like road signs, lorries, very, very fine detail stuff. I mean, road signs might be a push, but definitely lights. Um, I will be adding some lights. Now, at the end of this video, I will put a picture on of a game, Grand Theft Auto. Now, don't read into it too much, but they, they're they really good at detailing the game. And I've took loads of pictures of the Los Angeles Container Yard. 
and it's got the lights in so i'm gonna put that picture on just to show you the lights lights will not work they're purely decorative but the detail will be there now these containers not going to be all pushed out like this these are just in place at the moment and if i lift one out they have little pins on the bottom see and just little pins there and they will be cut so they go flat to the floor but there's a lot of containers here i bought two packs of them and i mean i got more over here to be honest two tubs something now to be put around but now it looks very good and the crane there'll be another one of these cranes there probably will be three eventually and there's two for now i might get three and i might change these to the yellow um, there's also going to be cranes going over the containers the way it works the cranes pick up the containers put them on lowers the lowers will then drive around to the crane and so on and just behind the container yard we got the suspension bridge again it comes down to sloped slopes downwards and there'll be stuff underneath here maybe some buildings nothing too big but mainly containers this is the container yard and container yards have even containers just stacked up so that's what i'm gonna do with the remaining ones i got um but mm, it's, it's going on very well now vehicles obviously i cannot get cars in this scale it's just too small and the whole idea with this project is it would be if you're looking down on like google earth so that's the idea i don't know if i showed this in my last video but it's my thought ship one of my favorites again um helicopters i will be getting helicopters going on the back of this one you can get the helicopters um which would be pretty cool so yeah that's it for this update let me know what you think i'll add some of those pictures like i said but i did add some of them in the middle of this video so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think on the update sorry if the videos dragged on too long thanks to all of you who support this I was a I, i've actually had a lot of um good comments about this project on facebook and that and yeah it's opening my eyes to a different world i've always loved my shipping all my different ships and that so yeah i'm really enjoying it and i'll have more to show you later on this year i'm not i'm not rushing it i'm taking my time it's the suspension bridge that suspension bridge gotta be perfect and the container yard everything <laughs> I gotta go into a lot of detail. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all soon. Bye for now.